Hey everyone, Shane here with Nutrilla.com. Today I have a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna walk through how to install PTC custom engine air filter. Custom engine air filter is gonna be a replacement air filter for your factory air filter. Um, it is a good idea to replace your filters at least every uh, 15 to 20,000 miles or at least check on them. Uh, I like to check mine, you know, every oil change or two. Uh, these are easy enough to replace that you don't have to really take them in somewhere to get them done. So take your car in to get your oil changed and they ask you, you know, if you want your engineer filter replaced, tell them no. You don't need to pay the extra $20 or whatever they're going to charge you for them to replace it just to put this in. You don't need to do it. It's very simple. You could actually have your kids do it. If your kids are old enough, they're, they're starting to learn about cars. We look at the difference between the two. This is our old one. It doesn't look too bad, but you can see how the dirt is caught down in the edge here. That's what's caught down in the pleats. Now it's doing what it's supposed to do, but if we don't change this out uh, as often as we should, what happens is it restricts the airflow going through the filter. When it restricts the airflow going through the filter, that means our engine is having to work harder than necessary. When it starts doing that, engine starts working harder, you're gonna start causing a whole bunch of issues that you don't really need or you don't need to spend the extra money on. So again, I recommend changing out your air filter uh, regularly. Now, if you look at the difference between our new one and our other one, you can definitely see the height difference. Uh, these are gonna be paper pleats on our new one, which is the same here, except you can see how flexible this one is. Or this one, all of our pleats are actually glued together here in the center. So we don't get a lot of movement in it. With something like this being in your air filter box, if you get a lot of suction in there, it could suck down one of the edges and cause airflow to get past it. When you do that, then all this where it's collecting is going right past it, it's not collecting anymore. I recommend getting one that's a little bit stiffer. It's gonna have a nice thick rubber gasket around the edge, so it's gonna seal very tightly once you have the lid in place. We have a nice screen here on top. Uh, also to hold, help hold the form of the filter. So your installation, you need to find your air filter box. Right on this front side, you can have a couple little tabs. You're gonna pull up like that. We're gonna remove the old filter. Install the new one. And then reinstall your lid. Once you got your new one in, you're ready to go. And do it for a look at an installation on the PTC custom engine air filter on a 2013 Jeep Grand Cherry.